This video describes the tools available in PowerFactory to perform arc flash analysis. Before starting arc flash calculation, all necessary data has to be entered in our network elements. For this open any middle or low voltage bus bar in our system. Under DAB protection, if parameter accessible location is selected, all parameters relevant for arc flash calculation will be listed. For a better overview let us have a look at Network Model Manager. Here select bus bar, and sort them according to value of nominal voltage. Navigate to Protection tab. As it can be seen, all middle and low voltage bus bars are filled with data. Arc flash calculation will be triggered by selecting arc flash analysis. User can select one of three supported calculation methods here. If selecting use fixed times inside a fault clearing time parameter field, tripping time of 0.1 seconds will be applied on all protection devices. Results of calculation such as arcing current, personal protective equipment PPE category, and others are represented in the report. If sorting them according to PPE category we can see that for fault clearing time of 0.1 seconds, no problem regarding arc flash has been detected. Results are also graphically represented, marking no problems and also in Network Data Manager, under Flexible Data Page. Having fault tripping time for all protection devices set to 0.1 is not realistic, so let us repeat this calculation with fault clearing time parameter set to use relay tripping. Now results are different and report and graphic are pointing some potential problems. There are bus bars where no PPE category was assigned and those with very high category. If we would like to decrease PPE category the easiest way is decreasing fault clearing time. For example, let us have a closer look at bus bar 3. For this bus bar, arc flash analysis has set PPE category on 3 and fault clearing time was estimated on 0.92 seconds. Navigate to time over current plot for this bus. Here you will see characteristics of all relays that are built around busbar 3. Let us run short circuit on line CE1. Here is to see that because of selectivity upstream relays are tripping at 0.92 seconds. This leads to an obvious problem. If short circuit occurs directly on busbar, as a result of this problem, we will introduce interlocking scheme. Interlocking scheme is defined here as an additional relay with the purpose of signal comparison. In protection devices variation set, interlocking extension stage as recording. Now, if short circuit has been executed on the line CE1, all relays will react as expected. This extension stage will include mentioned relay. But if short circuit has been executed on the bus bar, two upstream relays will trip as fast as possible. This is only possible because new relay has been introduced. Let us have a look at substation that contains bus bar 3. Here it can be seen that if one of the downstream relays sees fault, this new relay will generate blocking signal, that would prevent upstream relays from tripping. Let us have a closer look at interlocking relay scheme to see how this was implemented. On the left side five downstream relays are represented. They are sending information to all logic, that later sends its output to two relays, that should be blocked. By having now tripping time of 0.2 seconds for faults on bus bar 3, let us see how this will influence arc flash calculation results. Comparing old and new results, 
we can see significant improvement by having a shorter tripping time. Results of calculation can not only be exported as a report, but also standard dark flash labels can be created. For creating standard dark flash labels we will use arc flash reports command. Select location where new label will be created. By pressing execute button, word document will be created. Our task now is just to link results with this label. After results have been applied in the label, this label can be printed, saved or adjusted as any other word document. 